So this is by Akash uh, Jiramath. I, I, I'm sure I screwed that up. But first of all, who is this guy? And what you know, uh, should we listen to him as far as what he writes? Well, Akash here, full-time crypto writer, analyst at AMB Crypto. He's an engineering grad with an avid interest in finance and economics. Economics. Attracted to the chaos of trading. Who isn't? Akash has invested in Bitcoin, ETH, and XRP for educational purposes. Sure. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Look, I'll take a... I will definitely read an article from somebody who is in our space. So I'll give this guy a pass. What do we got? So Bitcoin witnessed a flash crash or a crash, a pullback, we'll say, because I know that's going to be in the comment section. It's not a crash. It's a pullback. Okay, great. 11.7, 11.1er. Great. But it happened less than an hour, and it's taken down a lot of altcoins with it. Uh, everything's down about 2%, 2, 2 to 6% in the last hour. And as we just took a look, it is even more so than that, with the exception of Polkadot. How is, actually, I didn't really go over that. I think I did, but let's just make sure. Polkadot, that's eh, still down 6%. What are you going to do? All right, so going on. This has caused a casket of liquidations that range as much as 45 million with about 9 million worth of sell liquidations. For all my traders, my heart goes out to you. Um, what doesn't kill you make you stronger, and uh, hopefully you can bounce back. Perhaps the crash was just a FUD from the circulating news about the Korean exchange that was reportedly being seized by the police. According to South Korea's newspaper, the Seoul Shinmun, Bithums, or Bitthum, how you want to say it, offices has have been raided by the authorities. In addition, the exchange is reportedly being accused of pre-selling $30 billion worth of BXA tokens to investors, whatever that is. Uh, to make matters worse, after the tokens were sold, the acquisition deal with Singapore's BK Group didn't go through and the tokens were never listed, leading to investor losses. So that's part of the story. And it could be true, it could not be. It's FUD. Who, I mean, it might not be FUD. I have no, I have no idea. And over the next couple of days, we're going we're gonna to hear about the truth. However, I will say this, Akash gives us some good information. Here's what I think. I think sometimes that we are in such a small pool of different whales and different investors and institutions that just a little bit here can look like if okay here's the thing if i was a whale and i had a ton of money right because i mean what are we at we're, we're under 400 billion right and for some whales that's not that's not a lot of money they can just you know go in their liquidity and just you know do a bunch of uh, different trades and it could uh, screw up the market or what they could do is go you know what i'm gonna hide my all the different trades that I'm going to do, and I'm going to pinpoint it to some, you know, innocuous article. You know, maybe this this uh, uh, bit thumb actually is going down, and I'm going to hide it right there. And I'm going to do some trades, let it crash, and I'm going to buy up everything cheaply, which is probably what's happening in the background. And even if they weren't responsible for it, it's the same thing that's going to happen. I always feel like that these whales out there are super manipulating the market, and it's just a game of these big entities. And there's only one way for me to beat these guys. And it's not trading, it's not looking at technical analysis, even though if you wanna do that, that's cool, I don't care. Uh, but for me, it's just buying and holding and waiting till I have my exit points. And for Bitcoin, it's around 100,000, maybe even 200,000. For Ethereum, that to me is a $10,000 coin. For Chainlink, it's a $1,000 coin. Uh, you just keep going down, down the line, I will not sell. My hands are as strong as you can possibly get them because I lived with the 2017 crash, 2018 crash. I just don't care. And I'm too damn stubborn to let go. And that's how I got it. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on. Next up, I like this. Um, I like listening to Mike Novogratz. Some of you don't like him. Some of you do. But uh, I got to tell you one thing. This guy's been around the block. And uh, the things that he's talking about, I'd like to hear from people who have been there. I do not want to hear about virgins talking about sex I, that's the easy way i can say it so uh when this guy's talking about you know look this is what's happening c fi d fi sushi tesla and the bubble i i find it enthralling so let's just take a listen